Tassie was fucking lit. Imagine not having potassium in your body. Yeah, it's bad. Can you imagine living a life, a life without potassium? What's potassium gonna do for you? Build strong bones. Oh, what does wait? Our home. What does the potassium actually do for us? I don't even know. I some bananas have a lot of them. Lots of blood pressure. Oh, neat. Okay, it's for potassium. All oh, right. Oh, cramps. So blood pressure makes me happy. It does. Oh yeah, American Dad taught me that too. The one in the episode with the strippers. You just have to get a banana in you. <laughs> anti crap in the room. All right. Well, I, I haven't really been cramping today, but uh, oh, yeah, I love American Dad. It's fucking funny. Let's see. What else does potassium do for us, chat? Now I'm curious. Actually, I can Google it. I can salt tab. Uh, what does potassium do? Let's look it up. It helps your nerves to function and muscles to contract. It helps your heartbeat stay regular. It also helps move nutrients into cells and waste products out of cells. A diet rich in potassium helps to offset some of sodium's harmful effects on blood pressure. So you're telling me the uh, antithesis to fast food is straight up bananas. It's fucking wild. So if I eat infinite bananas, I can eat infinite salt. That is what I've learned. Imagine this ends up being the run because I talked about- I looked up the definition of fucking potassium and what it does for the human body. I mean, it's better than us talking about Pee Wee Herman jacking off again for a run, so... Have a good night, me, Jessica. Get some good sweeb. It is straight up bananas. Wait, potatoes have potassium? You're lying to me. And if you think so, Freeman, if you really think so, I guess. Huh, I didn't know bananas help fight sodium. I didn't know that. Is sodium at all good for you? Like, if you have zero sodium in your body, is that bad? Like, is sodium good to you by any margin? Remember your sodium, I think it's bad. I don't actually know if that's the case or not, though. Yes? What does it do for you that's good? I actually don't know. I'm not actively avoiding sodium. I just hear it's normally not good, or too much sodium is bad. Make my heart beat. Oh. So wait, you're telling me I can't only survive off bananas? I need salt? Salt is an electrolyte. Roger. Too much of anything is bad? You're telling me I can't chug 30 bananas in one day? Cells cannot absorb water. Your nerves cannot send signals. Oh, okay. Well then, the more we know. I mean, salt and bananas sound like the move here, right, didn't they? They, they cancel each other out. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't want to use the euphemism salty banana in any margin. You'll come prune and die. Wait, is that- wait, so you're telling me old people just need to eat more sodium? To avoid the wrinkling of old age, you just have to eat sodium? Well, good to know. Purple? You know purple? Well, I have to wait for the cutscene, but you could have purple. Yeah, she don't uh, much iodine from iodine. No. That doesn't make any sense. See, I don't know jack shit about nutrients or and what goes in our bodies and all that. I just hope to God I'm not gonna die anytime soon. Hey, hey you, hey you. Turn, change, change. Oh. Okay. Push the wrong button. Peanut butter and bacon? So you're telling me Elvis had the perfect diet, actually. Maybe he flew too close to the sun, chat. You ever think about that? Maybe he had the right idea. Maybe we're the fools. Maybe Elvis had the right idea. Maybe we just... Maybe he just flew too close. Maybe he's Icarus. The flight of Icarus right there. Maybe he had the right idea. Peanut butter, banana... Sandwich. And bacon. He flew too close to the sun, I see it. I don't think we're supposed to put asbestos in our bodies. I think asbestos is actively bad for you. It's the wrong dosage, alright. 
Well, now we know. Elvis is dead. That's because of he ate too many of the sandwiches. He flew too close to the sun. That's what happened. If he ate slightly less of the sandwiches, he probably would have been alive. I mean, the whole reason he died is because he was surrounded by yes-men. See, chat? Yes-men will kill you. That's not medical advice. I'm just fairly certain that asbestos will actively kill you. I know you're memeing, though. You tried it? Which one? The actual Elvis or the Fool's Gold Loaf? Exactly, Oracle. Like, peanut butter, bacon, banana? Or do you mean the Fool's, uh... Peanut butter... Jam... Bacon. Fool's Gold? How was it for you? Did you enjoy it? Where did you get a Fool's Gold Loaf? Did he just make it? Did you eat the whole fucking sandwich, or did you eat a proper dosage of sandwich? That's my question. <laughs> I can't imagine you ate all of it. I hope you didn't eat all of it, at least. Or might be dead. Nope, we're good. Now, are the money? I mean, he ate 8,000 calories. So unless you're eating 8,000 calories, I, I don't think it's worth the money. Look at me, I'm already speedrunner. Well, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a god gamer. I'll never not make that joke. Whenever I FPS swap. I just like, it just like Resident Evil. How long is going to eat that much? He was the king. Feast for a king right there in day. Feast for a king. He's eating 6 calories a day? That's powerful. <coughs> oh yeah, that's the whole thing with practice. Once you practice it, you're better off. You had jazz cabbage? And you ate the fool's gold loaf with jazz cabbage? The wacky tobacky? The jiving okra? The crazy cabbage? The mean green? Well, Fool's Gold sands... Well, Alright, so Fool's Gold is normally meant to be pyrite, which is... It looks kind of like gold, but it's worthless. So that's what Fool's Gold originally is named. It's pyrite. However, the Fool's Gold sand, which is the idea that you look at this really big loaf of bread, and then you bite into it, and it's all jam. So you're not getting bread. So it's hollowed out bread. So you're not actually getting tasty bread. You're getting jam, peanut butter, and bacon. I think I can get the hit from here. Yep. Good. So that's where it comes from, the name. Good fight. Good fight. Is Pyrite even doing anything? I have no idea what Pyrite's even used for. I just understand it's virtually worthless. Alright, life. Okay. Alright, not bad, not bad. Also, I'm glad I didn't get jump kick, because, uh, stock is fucking good right now. So, let's see. Hey, flapjacks are pretty tasty. Oh, God. I hope we get another board. I guess one hit's not that bad. Uh, do they? No. Oh. I thought the lotion was meant to go in the skin or else you get the hose again. Chapstick was for chapped lips. Is that not the case? Alright, time to die. Alright, let's play this nice and safe. You missed it! Frank, you fucking missed it! I thank god that didn't miss. How did he miss the grab? How did he miss the grab? Let me just reach into the air. Oh, perfect. Great job, Mr. Frank. Great job. right there. Yep. And it's passed out. He was like me, Ubering home the other day. Yeah. 
functioning. Alright, I get zombie rider stock. Please be zombie ride, actually. Jump kick. Fuck. Okay. And I didn't even get a board. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this run can still work. How do you make a sound of a lens game? You revolution on yourself. That's the whole game. You just revolution. And there's a hose involved in there somewhere. Uh, I had a feeling that happened. I guess not the end of the world, but annoying. Point of the adventure? Aren't you in a hole for most of that game, technically, then? You'd be in a hole, mostly. I can't imagine it being a particularly interesting game. Oh, got you. Got you. That doesn't make sense. Oh, there's a zombie ride. So I finally got it, chat. Finally got the zombie ride. Was it good? Eh, maybe. Just maybe. You could, uh... Oh, ah, yes, there you go, an RE clone. How'd that work? You can't have killer video apes. Oh, yeah. That works. That's not half the game, that's like maybe a fifth of the game. I've done the math. I speedrun that game. It's a fifth of it. Technically a lot less if you don't know what you're doing in any of the levels. That's kind of assuming you have no idea what the fuck you're doing in any- or assuming you have an idea but you know what you're doing. God. Alright. Ooh, how's it gonna go? There it is. Oh no, Sophie! All alone. Chat, you know what the funniest part about Sophie is? Back in the day when we uh, used to speedrun Psycho Skip, uh, before all bosses became the Chad category, uh, what you'd have to do is you'd have to uh, murder Sophie and then take an upskirt photo of her. But now, we just get one of Jesse. Like the true Chads we are. I mean, for part of the game's mission, you're required to get an upskirt photo. It's mandatory. If you don't get it, you fail the mission. So do one of the bosses. You need that. You normally get it here because uh, she's here and sad, and then you could just uba. Yep, normally you get it for Kent. I do it because it's shit posting, but uh, as a boo. Oh yeah, that like the old, that was the old strat. You had to murder fucking Sophie and then get an upskirt photo for Kent. Now you just get it off Jesse because it's faster and it's way better. You don't have to worry about finding Sophie and killing her. You can just go to Jesse. Oh, it's actually easier to do the Jesse photo too. The Sophie photo takes a bit of uh, practice. It took me a while to get that photo consistently. Jesse photo, fucking easy peasy. Exactly. And if you're wondering if you're New Game Plus, you don't even fucking take the picture. <laughs> That's also why I think New Game Plus is kind of- you don't even take the fucking picture in New Game Plus. It's just in your inventory. And that's lame, man. That's fucking lame for me, you know? I didn't find that strat. It was found by other people. I just think it's funny. Oh, uh, lately all the bu- actually, you know, chat, I'm willing to bet Metal Gear Solid 1 gets into GDQ because of that new skip. I'm hearing all about that new skip, and it's very wild. Although, big dub to the person for already making merch about it. Fucking pro move right there. <laughs> yeah, get the bag while you can, man. Get the bag while you fucking can, right?
Yeah, there's a whole new skip found. Oh, shit. Alright, good. Good fight. Your friend found that? The boba. Boba skip, yeah. There you go. Hey, good shit. I applaud it. It was a neat find. Get the doves. It was a good dove. And I saw the shirt. It was a good design shirt. It was powerful. Nice in there. It's a dove. It's a big dove ski. What even is the new attack? Uh, you get hit on a certain door, and then it knocks you through the door. Normally the door's locked, but it saves like two and a half minutes or some shit. It's really easy, apparently. Which is how, uh, apparently Boba accidentally found it. They call it Boba Skip after the, uh, content creator. Which, yeah, I like those. I don't mind content creators, that they're especially not speedrunners themselves. <laughs> Usually, whenever a content creator is named after a skip, it's because, uh, you know, the runners call it that. It's not that them going like, oh, yes, now it's called this. No, it's usually in honor of like, hey, thanks for finding this shit for us. Here's your name immortalized in this. So it's nice. I like that. Hello, Nightmares has one of those I really like. It's called Tabs Skip, because a uh, casual player named Tabs found it on accident. And uh, we still use it today. Some people try to change the name. Nope, it's called Tab Skip. It's easy. It's named after Tabs, the person who found it. But I'm not going to call anything the Agdices Skip. The Agdices Skip. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not fucking... If someone else wants to call Skips that, they can. I'm not going to do it. That's too vain for me. Too vain. But if someone else does it, that's, that's, that's based. That's based. Yeah, it's neat. It's neat times, too. It's not every day you find a massive skip uh, in a community like that. No, I don't want to call the X skip. It should be the X skip, not X. Also, again, I don't really have any skips I can call that outside of the uh, Snowflake the Tiger recently, I think. I mean, then I kind of just like Snowflake or Tiger skip. So easy. I'm simple. Of oh, your namesake take gets obsoleted? Oh, that's fine. Oh shit, that zombie's aggressive. What the fuck, man? There's always one. There's always one asshole. Willing to ruin all my fun. Alright. Back to Bomb Collector. I hope to God get stock six. It's funny, because for anyone who's new to Dead Rising speedrunning, there are two major things needed. One, I need to get stock six. Two, uh, the end game just has to go generally well. Like, Bomb Collector can't fuck up. Nothing can really fuck up. But above all else, I also have to get stock six. Man slaps me anyway. OC, do not steal skip. Perfect. Well, I was like, said he hit every zombie on the way here, but apparently I did that. And my board's still fine, so that's good at least. I found a decent amount of tech, oddly enough. It really depends on the game, though. I think the largest thing I found was an I have no mouth and I must scream, oddly enough. I pretty much entirely led to a rerouting of the game, and, uh,. I got rolled the record as a result of it, and that's kind of fucking wild to think about. I ha I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that. Uh, I'm loving Siren right now. It seems like an untapped, like, you know, game. Although, alright. I'm only down to submit Siren if I get top two. I'm only down to submit if I get even then. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I want to submit Siren. I'm thinking about it. I kind of want to, but I kind of don't. Because chat, I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, what's the word? I don't want to deal with Fallout. If I get that, if I ever, if I were to get that game in, let's assume I grind that game like mad. I get top two. I don't want to deal with any Fallout.
exactly be of you. Eh, Fatal Frame's neat. Carlito, what the fuck happened to you? Fallout? Yeah, um... It's nothing bad. There's nothing bad with any of the people involved. It's just kind of more of a general GDQ thing. Oh, there's tro I saw a bad trolling. I'm more concerned for the lad. There we go. Well, if he's managed to get out, that's good for him. Why would I get Fallout? Okay. So here's the thing about Siren. Oddly enough, Chad, do you know who the power submitter for Siren is? I got stock, hell yeah. Alright, I really hope this isn't bad. You're not sure you're following? Uh, no, it's not a jobber. Uh, he's a nice dude. Uh, it's more, he has a certain reputation. Uh, as a Mark Kitty. And it's nothing wrong with him. It's just more, he became sort of a martyr. And if a game he submitted were to get in and he wasn't the, you know, the, the person, like, you know, running it, a lot of people might think that might be kind of weird. Uh, I'll level with you, chat. Uh, so, the best Siren Runner is actually Bonesaw. Yes, that Bonesaw. No, it's not someone with a terrible community. It's just more someone who got unlucky and they kind of became a martyr with the whole GDQ thing. I don't think they were intending to become a martyr. Sure, go for it, Mark Kitty. Well, no, no, it's not that. It's just more the case that a lot of people have the idea that Bonesaw is blacklisted. Um, because he hasn't had a run in the event since his Jack and Daxter run back in 2016. And he submits Siren quite frequently. Although I think he normally submits the more the old Siren, not the new Siren. Although he submitted the new Siren during the last wave of submissions, so... Is it okay if to ask if someone's single? Uh, depends. Are you gonna ask if I'm single, or are you asking the chat if they're single? Alright, we should be fine, Rusty. Yeah, that was the air candidate thing. I want to mention, by the way, it's a funny run. I have, I have respect for Bonesaw. I like his games, I like his grind. It just, you know, I like Siren, and I, I wouldn't want to step on any toes if I can avoid it. But also, at the same time, like, I think it's a really cool run. Somewhere IRL? It really depends on how you word it. It really depends. Oh god, my shoulders. So yeah, that, that's kind of my general idea with it. Although I think what happened last time someone wants to submit Sirens, they tried doing it as a race. So there's that. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Frank, you lad. Good stuff. How's it going? Oh, don't read. Uh, that's fine. You know what? Just take the pipe. I'm already here, anyway. Pipe. Alright, good stuff. Yeah. And yeah, like, I would like to see Siren in, actually. I really want to see Siren in. He's been submitting for a while. I was wondering, like, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't want to ruffle any feathers. Alright, I think that should be it. Yes. Well, this is gonna break. It's probably gonna break when I hit another zombie, though. Alright, she stopped. So I'm gonna say 14. Drop. Drop. One, two, three. Alright, I'm thinking it's 14. I'm thinking 14 is the proper number. No. I'm glad I finally timed this out, because I've been wondering for a while when I should start heading back. I think we finally got it. Oh my god, perfectly fucking timed. Isabella, you're a lass. True lass. Alright, please work. Hell yeah, okay. Perfect Isabella timing. So I got asked earlier, and I hate to be snappy, but I'm also dying out here. 
Yes, 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 I know. And, you know, they apologize for it. I'm not going to give them shit for that. I'd actually explain it, because maybe they're still wondering. So, the whole thing I'm doing right now is actually a strat. Isabella is awful at what she does. Uh, she's angry. She's aggressive. She's fiery. She's many things. But most of all, uh, she's a warrior. So, the whole thing is Isabella will kill anything in her path. So, by going in these far detours, I'm removing all the zombies from her warpath. Deloading the zombies is the best way to get Isabella moving. In the past, you'd have to escort her and kill the zombies for her, because she's not very good at it either. Um, it's much faster to just go in random tangents and random directions, let zombies despawn, and then meet up with her when she's done. So if you're wondering why am I not just going straight to the exit when I can, you know, go directly there, it's because Isabella needs to make it there. By the way, this is rough. I probably could have gone faster. Welcome back, Swede. Fun. Actually, less fun. Also, I guess for asking people if they're single, it, it really depends on how you word it. I feel like normally people try to be subtle and ask, oh, do you have insert significant other here? Or something like here. Or, oh, your, your significant other must be very happy. Or something like that. Or anything more subtle. Subtlety is your friend. I don't recommend breathing down their neck and going, are you dating anyone? Might, might, might have run into some issues there. Alright, should we go? How the run's been? Uh... I don't know yet. Oh, there you go, stupid. God, I may be going too slow. Holy shit, I'm going too slow, I'm going too slow. No, it's also down. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's fine. Alright. Okay, okay. Hold on. You might have it. You might have it. This is great pace. I have stock two. Stock two, great pace. Dijon. Fucking go. All I had to do is be on the brink of fucking death and I would have banned my run. Alright. We're not over yet, man. We're not over yet. There's still a lot that can happen, a lot that can go wrong. But we're definitely cooking. We're absolutely cooking right now. I'm gonna say right now. We're absolutely cooking. I have a lot of time save. What is cooking then? Food. Oh, actually, it's spicy PBs. That's cooking. Holy shit. You might have it. Saw so the final boss. I guess the chalice would be uh, cooking, wouldn't it? Oh shit! Oh no, no, right, now it's worse. Uh, glowing. That's fine. Out of the way. Thank you. I always like that. That's fine. That's fine. No, not that. All right, I can still possibly get a sub twenty-nine. Even if I don't, though, this might be okay. All right, let's go. That grab is a bit rough. That's okay. Let's hope I don't get grabbed more than once. Or if at all. Good shit, okay. No, chat, you do not want to tell- you do not want to uh, tell ladies to let me into your room. That is not the good dating advice. That's bad dating advice. That does not work. That would only work if, you know, they're already into you. And at that point, they're probably just more looking past that.
All right. Let's hope to God this works. All right, no stair- Dude, no, not even block that time. Fucking empty stairway. All right. We're gonna know by the Larry split, chat. We're gonna know by the Larry. Larry split. We're almost there. I'm actually getting really excited. I don't. I need to hold my, contain my excitement, curb my enthusiasm. Enthusiasm? Why the fuck you want to call it? Slow my roll. You know what I'm saying? Good. Zombie ride. I got this. We'll see. All right. Wow, okay. That's on PC. That's fine, that's fine. That's more than fine, okay. Horrible Larry? Great fucking boarding, oh my god. All right. Once you leave the grocery store, we got it. I just need to leave the grocery store. Yeah, Larry fucking terrified me. Out of the way, you. Thank you. I didn't even follow. Alright. He did. In journalism school. Could have been a better Larry, could have been a lot better everywhere else, but I'm fine with it. All right, let's see. What's the record? Uh, twenty nine seventeen. I fucking golded too. Okay, that's spicy. I knew that was gonna be good. I knew that was gonna be a gold. Like that was so good. Oh my god! I finally fucking got it. I finally got the time I wanted. As long as I don't really fucking choke the ending. <laughs> yeah, dude, Larry. Uh, Larry almost killed the run. By the way, I almost killed the whole run because I was I wasn't careful. All right. We're not done yet. I still have the rest of the game chat. It's not over yet. Not over yet. You have the board back. Now, it is quite hard to fuck this section up, but it is manageable. I've, I've done it before. There's a few ways the section can choke. More, most notably is that you can get a hand on the doors, and then you lose time picking that shit up. Was my total save? I don't even know. I don't even know. Because everything I'm shaving now has been with bike skip strats. So, I don't even know. Don't bonk? I hope we don't bonk. It's not over yet. It's not over until we're on that roof. Thank you. Okay. Three more, roughly. Alright, here's one. Well, I have been I have been serious. I'm very serious. All right, come on. Two. Three. Okay. Once I enter that room, you're good to go. There it fucking is! Oh, two, oh, nine. 29, oh, nine. Fucking finally! God fucking damn it! It took me this goddamn long! I've been dying over here! I've been sick! We finally fucking did it! I wish I could pop off more, but I'm sorry, my body physically won't let me. I can only be loud! Holy shit! The entire last three minutes has had my heart rate fucking jump by, I don't know, a lot? That Larry fight was some bullshit! You know what, though? We fucking got it. And this is the undisputed Dead Rising World of Record. This is the one that, uh, you know, the community should have. The one the community fucking needs. This is more like it. Well, I'll be damned. He's still God alive. fucking damn it, man. That's 
son of a bitch. <laughs> you got it. Thank you. That was nice. I can't tell you how long I'm working with this. 1,525 runs later, it's here! Oh, there it is. It's here. I tested positive for a world record in uh, some myriad of diseases. We have some respect on the name. Rats, thank you. Finally, the past like three I got in, it felt like shit. This one's still not good, but it's better. Swede, gifting 15 subs to Vivu, Illuminati, LO2 Blue, Fang the Dog, Caustic, Chand, Veros, Tardis, Mechanic, uh, Syphilitis, Prime Time, Splicer Child, Carenza, Mekai, or Mekai Insane, Zero Mus, Nexeron, Dragon Bites. Thank you, Swede, very much. Thank you, Nigga Found the Biddies. Boom Shock Luck, indeed. I'm awesome? Fucking thank you, man. Like, I can't tell you how long I'm waiting on this one. All the other ones, I don't even care about. All the other records I got, the fucking 2917 bullshit. 2918, even more bullshit. 2909, that's where this game is meant to go. Hell, I want to lower this even more. I want to get the sub 29 still. We finally got it. We finally got it. Flapjacks. Hang with me on the bits. I chat, some of you don't know how much this time actually means to me. I kind of wish I was feeling a little bit better. Because this is the undisputed Dead Rising world record. This is the best Dead Rising time this community has fucking seen. Either valid or invalid. Some of you know what this means, some of you don't. You know what it means? Oh yeah. Some point on it's for the taken. I want to see it? I do love to see it. I finally fucking got what I needed though. I'm happy. Thank you, Nietzsche, for the tier one for ten months. Finally got it. What does the time seed category mean again? I've never seen a 29 set and I never fucking will. I've been wanting to be the definitive number one. So, we're now the definitive number one of this game. The grind pays off? Some of you know what I'm talking about, and this has been a very big fucking point to me. To put it lightly, chat, there was one time that Tenley beat my other times, but it's not legit. But I beat that time. So. I just want you to know that. This is the undisputed Dead Rising world record. I don't technically have it anymore. I fucking have it. 